Have you ever wondered why airplanes fly so high, typically around 35,000 to 40,000 feet? Is it just to avoid obstacles on the ground? Or is there a more scientific reason behind it? Well, the answer lies in simple mathematics and physics. And in this video, I'll break it down for you in the simplest way possible. So buckle up, and let's take off into the science of high-altitude flying. The higher an airplane flies, the thinner the air becomes. At 35,000 feet or roughly 10 kilometers, the air density is much lower than at sea level. Now here's the math. Air density decreases by approximately 50% every 18,000 feet. That means by the time the plane reaches 36,000 feet, the air density is about 25% of what it is on the ground. Less air density equals less air resistance. And less resistance means the airplane can move faster using less fuel. Here's where the math becomes even more interesting. The power required to keep an airplane flying is directly proportional to air resistance. Mathematically, we can express it as, power is proportional to air resistance. Since air resistance is lower at high altitudes, the airplane requires less power to cruise. Less power means less fuel consumption, which is exactly what airlines aim for. So flying higher equals saving fuel equals saving money. And that's a major reason why aircraft fly so high. Another advantage of flying high is to avoid bad weather and turbulence. Most thunderstorms and turbulent clouds occur at lower altitudes, around 10,000 to 20,000 feet. By climbing to 35,000 feet or higher, airplanes can often fly above turbulent weather, ensuring a smooth flight 